Hello and uh, welcome to my the advanced engineering course where I'm going to share my about 10 years experience in embedded systems development and digital signal processing for different kind of applications but mostly for radars and computer vision. The advanced engineering course will include several lessons devoted to digital signal processing, algorithms development and implementations, mathematical modeling, and embedded Linux. Uh, lessons are partly commercial, so it means that some stuff will be free, some stuff will be paid. Anyway, if you have any question, please uh, don't hesitate and contact me by using email or you can write uh, your uh, question under this video in comments. During this lesson I'm going to show you how to work with embedded Linux for such popular platform like Zing 7000 and Zing Ultrascale Plus. I'm going to show you how to deal with system, software and application development. So, I hope you will enjoy and uh, again, don't hesitate and ask me any questions you have. I will start the lesson from explanation what is a system software for Linux image, where we can get all necessary system software and what kind of tools we need for working with system software, for modifying one and for compiling one. After we will get all necessary files, we will be able to load our Linux image on one of the boards with uh, Sync 7000 and Sync Ultrascale Plus. Then I will show you how to develop application for such frequently used devices like XMemory Map AP cores from programmable logic, like several interfaces or XDME AP core. I will show you how to work with all these devices in standalone mode when our Sync 7000 and Sync Ultrascale Plus doesn't have any operation system. I will show you how to work with all these devices uh, under Linux from kernel space or from user space. So, what is system software for Linux image? So, system software is software that uh, we need for getting all files listed here. So, it's a set of files uh, that we need for running Linux image for Zing 7000 and Zing Ultrascale Plus. As you can see, a set of files for Zing Ultrascale Plus are slightly different from Zing 7000, because it consists of uh, a platform management unit and are trusted firmware. So, what is the files? Uh, first of all, of course, it's a first step bootloader, first stage bootloader. First stage bootloader is software that we need um, for loading others necessary files, like for example Bitstream. Bitstream is information about our FPGA or programmable logic. Or, for example, U-Boot is a second bootloader. It's a software that we need for loading uh, Linux on Sync 7000 on Sync Ultrascale Plus from, for example, QSPI flash memory. Um, device 3. Device 3 is information about all its information for processing system, about all uh, memory mapped devices uh, in our memory. So, kernel it's a monolithic Linux kernel itself, and the file system it's a file system where we can will uh, where we can keep um, software service software we can where we can keep uh, application software and so on. Also, Synchrotron Scale Plus has additional um, platform management unit and um, ARM Trusted firmware. It's a kind of software we need for performing reboot tasks or for secure software. So, what kind of tools we need for getting all these files? First of all, of course, for first stage bootloader for device tree and for uh, Platform management unit firmware for Zincuter Scale Plus, we will use just Xanix SDK. <coughs> for uh, Bitstream, we will use Vivada or Vitis ID. For uh, getting U boot, for uh, kernel modules, for Linux application, or for ARM trusted firmware, we will use ARM cross compiler. 
uh, with uh, sources from Xilinx repository. And we will use build root for compiling Linux kernel file system and device tree for Linux kernel. For application development, we will create hardware design in Vivad ID. This hardware design will include processing system windows with uh, RM Cortex A9 or A53, so for Zinc 7000 and Zinc Ultrascale Plus. Also, hardware design will include XDMA MP Core with a stream to memory map and memory map to stream channels. For serial interface, we will use E2C Axi IP Core. And uh, for um, XE memory map IP Core, we will use just simple XE GPU with interrupt. I will show you how to work with all these devices, how to write drivers for all these devices for standalone mode, so without any operation system, and how to develop drivers, how to work with all these devices in Linux, in just user space, so without writing kernel modules, or for example, how to develop drivers for kernel space and how to use these drivers in user space. And um, we, will we will compare what's the difference for uh, device drivers development for all these devices in standalone mode and um, for Linux.